Fighters are Now you've proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest and this ingenious new weapon of mine in your hands. We call it the Magnuson device. Not my chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. Now look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. Now what it is, is a sort of sticky bomb. Although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull. Then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but... Well, your zero-point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Don't be alarmed, Freeman. This Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Now, out in the field, We'll supply you with all the Magnuson devices you need through delivery ports like this one. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. They cannot explode like those you will find. That's right. Now toss it at the main body of the Strider. As you can see, the Magnusons are fragile. They will disintegrate immediately if they miss their target. Good. Now, take out the firearm of your choice and shoot the device. There you go. Ah, not too difficult at this range, is it? Gets a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. Now, let's move on to a more challenging task. Uriah, send the target to the far end of the rails. Challenging at this range, isn't it? Magnificent device, isn't it? I'll be right over here when you are ready to head up. Had enough? Your car is fueled and ready to go. Now, every building in the valley has its own dispenser port, so you'll have ample supply of explosives. Now, I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my magnesons. Oh, and Freeman, if you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean involving a certain microwave casserole. Sawmill here. Head on up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there.
for you in the sawmill. That way. We'll keep the outposts stocked with help. So, they've sent Freeman, have they? Good man. We've counted a dozen striders just north of us. Our job is to keep them from reaching the base to the south. If they get close enough for one good shot at the silo, the whole launch is a bust. And in case striders aren't bad enough, recon indicates they're being escorted by packs of hunters. Now, what I want you to do... Attention! Uh oh North perimeter breach. All right, people, this is it. We have a strider approaching from the cranes. Defensive position, go! Oh boy, here we go.
traveling in packs. Here, have a med kit. Another strider from the water tower.
Attention! Attention! The Striders have been defeated! All personnel return to base immediately! Repeat! All personnel return to base immediately! is in its final stages. The portal's close to opening, but Dr. Magnuson sure will be in time to stop it. Ah, Freeman. Well, I see the Magnuson device performed flawlessly. I feel compelled to you personally for saving my rocket. So, um, thank you. <clears throat> well, that's enough chit-chat. I've got a rocket to launch. Wow. For a minute there, I thought you were going to get a hug. Check, check, check. Let's go to the control room. We can get a great view of the launch from there. Did you do that? What's this one? Flight termination system check. Well, here we are again. Safety fun, I found an old helicopter that I was able to get working. I've got it all packed up and ready to go. Never a dull moment, huh? Wait a moment. I'm seeing a payload anomaly of approximately eight and a half pounds. Uh, well, that's with intolerance. Uh, certainly not worth scuttling. We're back! At last. Ah, Gordon. Hell of a job you did out there, son. Uh, let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those striders practically destroy themselves. Yes. Well, I think perhaps Gordon had something to do with their success. I suggest we adjourn this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society until after we have launched our rocket. Now, I believe we're ready to start the auto sequence. I believe Gordon should have the honor. You'll hear no objection from me. It's all yours, Gordon. to celebrate. We need to reach altitude and transmit the signal. Too right. The clock is ticking. We couldn't have cut it any closer if that was our intention. It is going to work, right? It has to. Once the rocket is in range of the portal, we'll be able to switch on the Xenium resonator. Well, let's get outside. I'd like a better view of the fireworks. There should be quite a show. Regrettably, I can't come out with you. Magnuson and I will need to keep a close eye on the rocket's trajectory. Aren't you going to see us off? Just as soon as this is wrapped up. I wouldn't dream of letting you go without a proper goodbye. Okay, I'll hold you to that. You too, Dr. Magnuson. Indeed. We'll catch up. 
with you in a moment, sweetheart. Gordon, hold up. Dog, there you are. The more I think about that warning from our friend, the more I'm convinced it has to do with Borealis. Don't be deceived. That ship must never be used. You have got to destroy it, whatever the cost. Where are you two? You're gonna miss it. Be right there, Alex. Gordon, thanks for everything you've done. For Alex, for all of us. I couldn't be prouder if you were my own son. Now when you get back, we've got a lot to talk about. Dear Look God, at the this has to work. We've activated the resonator. This is it. Oh my goodness! Yes. We did it. We did it, Gordon. We sure as hell did, and not a moment too soon. <laughs> I'll bet the Combine aren't too happy right now. You got that right, sweetheart. But we've got plenty to celebrate. I wish you didn't have to head off so soon. If only it weren't so critical. It's okay, Dad. We'll find Judith and bring her back. Dog? Don't go too far. Well, there she is. Gassed up and ready to go. Remember to keep in constant contact. We have no idea what to expect. Don't worry, Dad. We'll be all right. I just wish all this didn't have to fall on you, Alex. Your mother would be so proud. Dad. Come on, Gordon. The chopper's waiting for us. Sure, you have everything you need. I think so. Dr. Kleiner gave us the Borealis coordinates. We'll keep the hailing frequency open on the chopper radio in case Judith tries to reach us again. Good idea. She could well make another attempt. Oh, Dad! Gordon! Help! Ah! Dad! Alex! <clears throat> Ha <laughs> ha.